This collection of art from Imperial China and its nationalities was exhibited in the Susan and Gerald Eckert Gallery in the Winter Center at Millersville University of Pennsylvania from January 26 to March 10, 2017. The exhibit from the collection of Frank and Anne Auburn was curated by gallery director Gloria Mast, assisted by Bonnie Watts. The Aubins started collecting in the early 1970s while living in Hamburg, Germany, where they acquired a Chinese ancestor portrait of a noble lady. This was followed by purchases from Washington DC Asian art dealer Simon Krieger of Chinese jade and imperial court textiles, as well as two large six panel Japanese screens. The collection grew as Frank Auburn spent many years starting in the 1970s, traveling and working in Hong Kong and mainland China. This ancestor portrait shows an imperial wife or possibly concubine seated on a decorative chair. She wears traditional robes and accessories. It dates from the 19th century. One of the earliest maps of China, this engraved and hand-colored Dutch map of Eurasia is by one of the world's great cartographers, J. Blau, and dates from 1635. A ceramic vessel, this item is from the Neolithic pre-dynastic period and is made of earthenware and it has a glaze. The fired bowl, probably 6th dynasties period, 220 to 589 AD, is also made of earthenware. A ceramic tea bowl from the Yuan Mongol dynasty dates from between 1279 to 1368. It is earthenware with a glaze. This female funerary figure made of earthenware dates from the Tang dynasty 618 to 906 AD. This earthenware piece with green glaze is probably a copy of a funerary hill jar with cover from the Han dynasty, 300 BC to 200 AD. An earthenware ceramic vessel dating from the 19th century is a copy of a Zhou dynasty bronze. This Song dynasty that's 960 to 1279 pitcher is earthenware with a celadon glaze. A scroll painting by Shi Luo dates from the 9th century or possibly is an 11th century copy, at least according to the Freer Gallery in Washington, D.C. It contains seals from the Imperial Collection and features 12 drunken scholars. This jade cup is from the reign of the Kangxi Emperor, 1654 to 1722 in the Qing Dynasty. This is a Mandarin's official court dress. It dates from the 19th or 20th century and is made of silk with embroidery and embellishment. An imperial court robe for a woman dates from the 19th century and the Qing dynasty. It is in the tapestry woven fabric technique called KC, with many auspicious symbols woven within. A Qing prince wore this dragon robe. It also dates from the 19th century and is silk with embroidery. Dating from the Ming dynasty, 1368 to 1644, this ivory chaoban was held in front of the face when addressing the emperor in the throne room. An 18th or 19th century Rui scepter features jade pieces on a wooden frame. Mimicking imperial court robes, this Beijing opera costume dates from the 20th century. There are three ancestor portraits used in the family home as part of shrines to commemorate ancestors. 
This mandarin's hat box dates from the 19th century and it held both summer and winter hats. Here's the mandarin's winter hat with a peacock feather. And here is the mandarin's summer hat. Here we have a Chinese samovar made of brass metal dating from the 19th century. And this tea caddy with teapot features a wooden fabric lined box for the porcelain teapot. A vanity set in wood with metal fittings and mirrors dates from the 19th century. Used as gifts for good luck, these three Ruiz scepters from the 19th or 20th century are made with various types of wood. This tin or brass bracelet and bronze cow date from the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1912. As does this red lacquer vase with blue enamel lining. This is an example of what is a typical Mandarin's work desk with brushes on a stand, chops or seals and sealing ink, ink blocks and also a hand warmer that would have been filled with warm coals. This 19th and 20th century collection of Chinese pipes includes a walking stick pipe. This hanging scroll from the 19th or 18th century is painted silk and features a scholar. This is a collection of personalized seals or chops. When people added to a scroll, created a poem or a piece of art or signed a document, they would stamp it with their seal. This Qing Dynasty fan painting is ink on paper. This jar is a Ming Dynasty earthenware with glaze. It is the darker of the two jars and the Ming Dynasty dates from 1368 to 1644. The lighter of the two jars is from the Qing or Manchu Dynasty 1644 to 1917. It's porcelain and glaze with carved wood stand. This is a Qing Dynasty ceramic pillow, painted porcelain with glaze. Here we have a Chinese lunch basket from the 19th century. Wood with stamped bronze decoration, this Tibetan food vessel dates from the 19th century. Tibetan monks painted this tanka and mounted it on silk that features a mandala. This is an 18th century wool Tibetan rug. Natural dyes are used. This ceremonial Tibetan vajra or thunderbolt dates from the 19th or 20th century. It is used in Tibetan ceremonies and represents firmness of spirit and wisdom. It's the symbol of the Vajrayana, one of three major branches of Buddhism, and symbolizes indestructibility. A Tibetan bell of the 19th or 20th century would have been used with the Vajra in traditional Tibetan Buddhist ceremonies. These Tingsha, or Tibetan Buddhist symbols, also dating from the 19th or 20th century, are traditionally used in certain Tibetan rituals. Tingsha with matching symbols, that is symbols with identical tones, are very rare and highly sought after. Collected in Nepal in 1973 at a Tibetan settlement, this is a Tibetan rosewood and stamped silver cup used for drinking tea. 
This Tibetan yak butter lamp would traditionally have had a wick inserted in the yak butter. It was collected in Tibet in the 1990s. A Tibetan fire-making kit. The flint is inside the purse. Here we have a Mongolian eating kit dating from the 19th or 20th century. It's made of metal, bone and wood with coral and turquoise decoration. This dining kit contains a knife and chopsticks in the elaborate case. Made of naturally dyed knotted fiber, this is a Mongolian saddle blanket from the 19th or 20th century. This metal horn and reptile skin sheath contains a Tibetan Kampa tribe knife. It dates from the 19th or 20th century. Here we have an example of three Tibetan saddle blankets. They are made with knotted fiber and fabric trimmed with leather. The dyes are all natural. Fabric with fur and trim, this is a traditional Tibetan hat from the 21st century. This is a Qing Dynasty necklace worn by a Mandarin. It features carved nut beads on a cord. A Mandarin would also have worn this skull cap indoors. It dates from the 19th century and is fabric with woven interior. These Manchurian woman's imperial court shoes feature a raised base to allow the wearer an extra few inches of height so that the imperial court robes would not drag on the floor. It dates from the 19th century and is fabric with embroidery. Here is a pair of Han shoes for lotus or bound feet. They date from the 19th century and are fabric with embroidery. Here we have examples of Uyghur carpets from Xinjiang province. The Uyghurs are a Muslim minority in China. They are made with naturally dyed knotted fiber. Finally, we have a piece of calligraphy with lines from the famous Tang Dynasty poet Meng Haran. At the Chongyong Festival, when the chrysanthemums are in bloom, I shall return. <laughs>